We've got an excellent programme this year. Um, as, as ever, it's a, it's a very broad programme because we're a very broad church, so it's very diverse. So we've got things right from the, the cutting edge of science, molecular biology, right through to very basic uh, question as which is best to measure a man's flow rate? Is it best to perform through his zipper or drop his pants? The workshops, I think, are very useful this year and as ever we've integrated them within the programme to make it so individuals can best choose what they want to do and make most use of their time. They're currently with the, the confusion over mesh for prolapse and mesh for incontinence, there's a session which at least these running, a workshop uh, looking at using natural materials for stress and continence. And I think that is a very worthy uh, workshop to attend and I hope to go along to that. We've got three excellent state-of-the-art lectures, but the one that uh, really takes my fancy is, the, is Linda Brubracker's um, state-of-the-art lecture on the microbiome. Uh, and five or six years ago, this had been heresy. I mean, we didn't believe that the, anything grew in urine. Ster urine was sterile in the bladder, and that's just not true. Uh, so I'm very looking forward to Linda's update on this, uh, as to tell us not only what's in our bladder, but how we can make use of it. Perhaps, in fact, the answer to recurrent infections is not antibiotics. It may be to instill the appropriate bugs back into our bladder. A little bit like a faecal transfer you would do for, for uh, colitis. So I think uh, that's a very exciting development. And maybe for interstitial cystitis. And the meeting's great and the science is good. It, it's, it's meeting up with colleagues. It's being in this, this beautiful city in Gothenburg. It is a beautiful city. Uh, it's very walkable. Uh, the weather will be great in September. So I want to get out and about.